cute. He was cute, 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 cute. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Akronamu, and for today's chit chat video, I am going to do. I feel like I'm gonna do like a story time because I'm about to expose myself big time and I feel like it's just gonna be like a story time because it's just a story about my life, my love life that has led to this moment where I kind of said, mm -mm, I ain't doing the dating scene no more, okay? And so way later in the future when, um, I start feeling like it okay but right now i am not getting into that scene ever again because y'all character development out here you guys i don't even i can't even okay so let's just get on with it okay let's just get on with it let's get on with the self expose scenario okay um if you see movement in the background don't mind it my puppies are asleep in the bed um so yeah let's get on with the video Y'all, here's the tea. Here is the tea, okay? I started dating when I was 16 years old. 15, 16, 15, 15, 16. I was in form three. So that's, yeah, I was 16. And at 16, I had my first boyfriend, okay? Um, this nigga. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't know what, like, dating was. Okay, I, not like I didn't know what dating was. I didn't understand how dating works do you get it because i'm african y'all okay i just can't walk up to my mother well now i can but then i just couldn't i couldn't walk up to my mom and ask her oh this i like this boy what am i supposed to do there is no way ain't no way okay ain't no way right now i can easily do that i do that all the time well not really i don't really like nobody right now but um i can easily go to her and tell her oh i like this guy he asked me out oh, what can i what how should I go? Should I not go? Now I can ask her because I'm a grown ass woman. But <laughs> when I was 16, I couldn't ask her something like that. So I had to learn the dating scene by myself. And it wasn't a good environment. It wasn't like a good thing. Um, it made me <laughs> it made me hate men. Point blank period. Um, because I realized that they and shit. Okay, they are not. It, like dating is not like the biggest thing on this planet like you know you <laughs> i see people who start saying oh i've never dated oh i'm 25 i've never dated and da, 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 da. it's not really something interesting to do um it's just months of <sighs> emotional torture and like getting bored of somebody so y'all i was telling you backstory okay let's go all the way back to 2016 when i found when i found my first boyfriend y'all so i had gone for this music festival you know funky and stuff um we went to what school is that langata boys high school i think it was langata boys high school i think so yeah and when we were there <laughs> um i found this guy it got interested in whatever so i gave him my number and i was like you know it's kind of what we do we used to do our funkies um i don't know if people right now the, the kids in high school right now know that because of covid and stuff i don't think there's like music festivals and stuff but at that time we used to turn up that's the time we were waiting for in my entire high school career i used to wait for the time where we go out for the funkies and stuff so it was music festival and so I gave him my number and then I went home. Not home, but back to school, right? Uh, because, you know, if he kept it, if he threw it away, if he lost it, I just didn't care. The moment we left that school, I kind of forgot about him and kept on, like, living my life. And then um, we used to get mail, <laughs> y'all. We used to get, like, mail, literally, from schools and stuff. So when someone, I don't know how we, I don't know how they used to get to us from different schools because it wasn't through the school administration. Ain't no way it wasn't working like that. But somehow he sent me a letter, and I, I kept that letter until a few years ago, like way later after we broke up for like a year, and then I threw it away because I don't know it looked cute and stuff, and it was like you know the first um letter I ever got like that. So I was like you know sentimental but then i threw it away and <laughs> fuck it so anyway after like 
I'm gonna say a, a half a year, uh, six months. I think we started talking. Yeah, we started talking when I was in form four. Okay, at the end of the form three year, at the end of 2016, because I remember he was in form four and I was in form three and he was doing KCSE. And he had a phone in school and then he kept on texting me and stuff and, and yeah keep, remember that bit remember the bit where he kept on texting me when he was in school because it's gonna come up again um so we started talking started dating i guess you know high school dating is a weird kind of dating um then we dated the whole year when i was in form four and by year i mean that's what three months that i was out of school and then after like he got mad at me after I finished high school, he got mad at me because I never used to text him that much. But you see, I felt like I have outgrown him. And then he did a rookie mistake. He said, he started, okay, he had given me a book of his poems. Um, the poems he used to write, he was a poet, I guess. Uh, he gave me a book that I kept, like, you know, I, I, I read his poems. He was good. I'm not going to lie. He was good uh, with poems and stuff. So... He got so mad when he asked me about a poem and he's like, you don't remember it? I'm like, mm, the fuck? why am I supposed to remember it? He's like, oh, you know, my ex-girlfriend. He was like, my ex-girlfriend used to remember all my poems. I was like, what? Please repeat what you just said. And he went like, oh, my ex, he repeated it. And I was like, you know what? Let's see, I've had it, we're done. And like, oh, you can break up with me, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, we are done okay we are done you can you're not gonna start comparing me with your ex y'all and by the way i was already like tired of him because i was now out of high school and i had started seeing the goodness of the world and how the world is full of hot people <laughs> so i was like i ain't dealing with you no more bye and two months later i started dating a new guy <laughs> y'all um oh god if my mom sees this video i am toast <laughs> but i started seeing another guy two months later but this guy it was hurtful what he did to me because he didn't do anything bad but he never used to like it when we were seen in public together do you get it um he never used to i don't know how to explain this like we never had dates first of all he never used to take me out on dates because taking me out on a date it means i have to be outside with him and then i was going to school in town i was going to a university in town i had just started university and i met him i saw him in town and he kind of like avoided me child i was like what like like am i ugly what, what's wrong so i kind of like he gave me a little insecurity at the time that i kind of i'm done like i got over it but i was mad i was hurt that he kind of like never wanted me to like he never wanted to be seen in public with me when i realized that especially this one time we used to like walk around the estate a lot uh we used to live in maradima and that place is huge like there's so much so many places you can walk to maybe not at night because i don't think it was too safe maybe it was safe i don't know um but there's a time we were walking to a mall there was a mall it's almost, it wasn't like a quick walking distance it was quite a distance but you could easily walk to it if you have the energy so we we're walking to the mall around five o'clock or something and i'm he, he saw a group of his friends and he kind of like stepped away from me a little bit kind of like you know like we're just platonic and stuff so when we got to his friends he didn't even introduce me as a girlfriend or anything and i was like hmm i got you and then in his friend group that was this hot boy <laughs> now this guy that you know he was like he was like six feet tall and it was dark and he was hella cute y'all he was cute cute he was cute 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 and i ended up dating that guy <laughs> i was like if this because after that um i used to know the brother to the guy that i'm talking about the you know six feet tall guy i used to know his brother 
I don't know why I used to know his brother, but I used to know his brother. So when I met him, um, and then I and then I realized that this guy I was dating at the time was acting kind of funny. When I went home that day, he kind of DM'd me on Instagram, and I ended up with him instead of this. I broke up with this other guy because if you feel like if you feel embarrassed to be with me in public, then why are we going? Why are we, why are we together in the first place? We're not supposed to be together anyway. So I started dating this new guy. <laughs> Y'all, I've gone through so many guys. There is a, a, a bunch of guys. So this guy, we never actually broke up. Like he's a guy that I actually had feelings for, it, like real feelings for. It. The rest were just, you know, eh, okay, let's go out. You know, let's the labels and stuff so I, this guy i kind of have feelings for him y'all because it took me a while to get over him we never broke up like we were, we didn't break up because he moved he went to the united states that's where his mother his dad his sisters that's where his family was so he and his brother left um i remember he left when i was about to do my exams for driving school i was about to finish my driving school uh, so that was like in 2018, there like June, July, July, June, there, um, he left, or August, I'm not even sure. So, he left the United States, he's still there, um, we talk once in a while, we talked like a month ago, I guess, it's kind of like a weird thing that we have, you know, like catching up and stuff, and, you know, like keeping each other up to date with what we're doing with our lives i guess you can call it that so yeah after he left i didn't date anywhere for like a year because i was getting over him you know so i wasn't really going out with nobody um and then i went to around that time i also dropped out at the end of that year the end of 2018 i dropped out of campus yo and then i stayed a couple of months and then I enrolled in the school that I am right now for my diploma again in May of 2019 and then I started dating a new guy. This guy was opposite of the guy was the guys I used I, I go for. He was shorter than me. Y'all I'm not even kidding. I am five five. So when I say he was shorter than me, he was a short guy. So I went out with him for like what a month. I got bored. And then uh <laughs> And after him, I dated this other guy, y'all. He was annoying because when I met him the first time, uh, we were chilling. I used to park outside the school because I was too lazy to get a sticker for my car. So I used to park behind, not behind, but beside the school, between um, the school and a church that was there. That was like a road that led to other houses or I'm not sure if the houses or offices, but we were allowed to park there, especially because um our parking space in school kinda gets full so quickly. So I was I used to park there. So when that day I had like a morning class and an afternoon class. So in the middle I'm free. So you know we hang out there or we go to like a coffee shop and stuff. So that day I met this guy. Uh, he pulled up in a Mercedes GLE, GLE, GLE formatic. Um, and he looked cute. He looked mature. Uh, he used to go to Strathmore Business School, so he kind of looked mature. So we kind of started talking, hanging out, and we started dating. And then that's when I figured out his problem. His problem, y'all, he just kept on saying, oh, my daddy is this, my daddy does that, and my daddy's gonna give me his company, oh, my daddy works with this, my daddy works with that, my daddy, da, 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 da. I was like, nigga, chill, like, I'm, <laughs> I don't care about what your dad does, if I did care about what your dad does, I would have technically went out and dated your father, but, <laughs> but I am not, so I don't really care. This guy, actually, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. This is the only guy that my mom ever met because he came to our house, my mom's house, okay? And <laughs> my mom found him there and slapped the shit out of him. I am not even kidding you guys. She just went mm -mm, and slapped him. And after that, we kind of broke up because situationship, you know? That was a situationship, so we kind of broke up and... 
that was the last guy I dated, y'all. <laughs> And that was in 2019. So between 2016 and 2019, that's where every guy that I've ever dated, I dated around that period. After that, it's almost what three years right now. I'm not dating nobody. I ain't seeing nobody because I got tired. Wait, hold a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've skipped someone. Hold up. Well, okay. At what point did he come in? Cause I remember. I remember it's 2019 y'all 2019 I, I dated like two guys because the first guy I dated from like January yeah I wrote now I remember after the guy that I was obsessed with left for the United States I wanted a rebound someone to just you know keep me active keep me busy okay so I started dating this guy he used to leave in Rungai, I remember, and he used to act like I am supposed to be his therapist, I'm supposed to solve his problems, and the worst part of it all, y'all, we went out to eat one day and he expected me to pay. Y'all, dead ass, he expected me to pay, and I remember that day, I was like, I thought this was a day, he was like, oh, can you get this one, um, he didn't even say I'll get the other one. He didn't even make any skills. He just said, um, here's the bill. Get this one. I was like, what? Actually, that's what he said this. He took the bill. Um, and then he said the number that was on the bill. I don't even remember how much money I was like, like the bill was, but he told me the number on the bill and he's like, um, you got this, right? Like the fuck? After that, I remember we were moving. So... I broke up with him and he started like saying he's gonna you know he started threatening me with, with stuff that I don't really care about you know he said oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this I was like do my dear do okay at first I was terrified I'm like oh what if what if and then something clicked he's all talk he's not gonna do it is he so I was like you know what do whatever you want do whatever you want but what you need to know is we are done we are done, I don't care, we are done, it's over, that's it. So basically, y'all, this background story, this, I was giving you guys a backstory to my love life, and it's got pretty long, pretty long, and I'm pretty sure one of them is gonna see this, I don't give a shit, I don't care, cause this is my channel, I can do what I want, this is my mom, I can say what I want, um, period. So, okay, basically, y'all, given that i had gone through so many emotional not torture but like so many emotional okay you know what it's emotional torture because this guy did this this other guy did this they were not really like adding up so each person that i've ever dated gave me a new thing like like they gave me a new thing that i just don't want no more in my relationships so i'm glad that i like dated all these guys they played a purpose in my life for the future of my future relationships and stuff they played a good purpose because now i know what i want in relationships and what i absolutely don't even want to tolerate or don't even want to give a second chance to now i have never been cheated on in a relationship or i have never found a guy cheating on me i'm pretty sure one of them did I'm 100% sure the one who was who didn't want me to like who didn't want to be seen with me probably was cheating on me or something never I never dig that deeper to find out if he was or he wasn't because I wasn't gonna like spend my last mental capacity with him on that so I was like you know what to hell I don't really care um yeah anyway so the point at the end of it all I am more happy when right now that I'm not in a relationship, I am way more happy because I get to do things on my own accord. You know when you're dating somebody, you can't just go off a week without talking to them. I was talking to another guy, I was talking to a guy what, a few weeks ago and after three weeks of talking, I was like, I can't do this no more. I can't. I can't because one. One, he was he was a cloud chaser and a name dropper. Do you know those people? The people who kind of like 
drop names all the time because they're talking. He was like, oh, you know, I know this person. I know this other person. And my dad is a friend to the president of Sudan. Yada, 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 yada. And when you see him, yo, it don't match. It don't freaking match. So... At this point in my life, I don't think I have the mental, emotional, or physical capacity to like get into a relationship with somebody. This is a personal choice, okay? Don't, you know, I don't want people to be telling me, oh, you're gonna be lonely. Da, da, da. I am not lonely, y'all. I just don't want to. Right now, I am working on myself for the past, the past two years, it's just been me focusing on myself. I'm trying to grow myself, I'm trying to grow. The relationship that I have with myself, I have to grow, you know, my career and my stuff. So I just don't really have the energy. I don't have the energy, y'all. Because it takes so much of yourself to date someone, okay? So after going through, how many guys were those? Okay, let's try and count. Uh, two, like five, six, six. I want to say six. Wait, hold up. Okay. Yeah, six guys. Um, I am not interested anymore. Okay. Uh, you know, hold up. There's a guy. Y'all, people, men out here are bold. There's a guy I told him, um, I'm not ready for a relationship. And he asked me, are you gay? I'm like, I ain't gay. He's like, if you're not gay, then why you don't want to be in a relationship with me? I'm like, I ain't gay. I just don't want you. I'm like, all girls. And then he was like, all girls want me. I'm like, uh, okay. The hell am I supposed to do with that information? He's like, oh, you must be gay. You must be gay. Okay. You must be gay. That's why you are not, you are not, um, you don't want to go out with me. I was like, you know what? I don't have the mental capacity for this. So I'm just going to say goodbye and good day. Good day, sorry. Good day. Anyway, so <laughs> that is my little expose on my love life and all the traumas. I am putting it in quotes because they're not really major traumas. I know there's people with very terrible relationships. I never really had a terrible one. Like, terrible, terrible, terrible that left, left with like an emotional scar or a physical scar. None, neither, none, none, none of them, none of them. Um, but they did give me character development. <laughs> And I did um, learn something from them and I did gain something from the relationship that I had. Right now, okay, I am waiting for my Korean boot. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? Like, I am... Okay, hold up, y'all. I watch so many K-dramas. I know that's not how, like, Korean men are. But do you see how cute and hot those men are? Do you see? See, I read somewhere, not really read somewhere, I saw a TikTok of some Korean girl. She's like, oh, girls are fat. Like, they're fantasizing about Korean guys. You know, they cheat. They lie. I'm like, so do every other man in every other race in this freaking world. So, it's not a race thing. Maybe not all, but like 90% of y'all. So, the girls were like, oh, you know, Korean men, they cheat, they control you, they're protective. Yeah. Most men are, okay? <laughs> you just have to tame yours. You know, find your demon and tame them. But I'm going to fly to Southeast Asia and find my demon there. <laughs> I promise I'm sober. First of all, I'm actually starving. Um, I haven't had lunch. And what time is it? It's like... 5.05 uh the last meal i had was like at one and that was breakfast 12 30. that was like my weird breakfast stroke lunch i don't know what i'm telling you about my eating today but i'm kind of starving so i'm gonna end this video right here i have exposed myself to the limit uh that's the most i can expose myself about my love life and by saying that's the most i just told you guys everything so I'm just gonna end this video here, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your worst 
relationships y'all i just want to know because you know it doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl we all go through emotionally torturing physically torturing mentally torturing um in, in relationships because i know even girls be crazy y'all women out here do stuff you be like what but i don't have experience dating women clearly but you know men do and uh, some other girls so i just want to know like your worst relationships what made you say mm -mm, i ain't gonna do this no more and yeah let's just interact in my comment section so with that said and done i'm gonna go have what is it it's not dinner because like five so like early supper i don't know i'm just gonna go have food okay point blank and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video goodbye She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her